And how's it going guys? My name is Jacker and welcome to today's video. I was just finishing up opening up my daily llama But today we have another episode of buy this and not that pretty much the series that we are trying to do every single week When we have a new hero and when we have a new Refresh to the weekly and event items so every time the weekly items refresh we go here and post a video Just saying what to buy and what not to buy and from the looks of it. We don't have a whole lot new this week in fact we have one thing new in the event store, so not much has changed. Probably hold off in the Armageddon. Get, ultimately, here's what it comes down to. In the store, buy everything you possibly can, but just make sure that by the time the new event, or the new items are coming, you have some gold saved up for the new stuff. But buy as much as you can otherwise, because like, like I said before, you're capped at 5,000 gold. You're capped at 5,000 gold, so that's the max you can have. So. Buy as much as you can get, but if you're going to pick anything out of here, if you haven't picked up the Mythic Hero, definitely pick that up. If you haven't picked up all of the perk up and stuff like that, definitely pick up all of the perk up that you possibly can. If you happen to be anywhere in the game, especially like Stonewood or Plankerton, definitely pick up all the Epic and Legendary perk up because those will be the hardest to get once they leave the store. As you can only get the Legendary perk up in Twine Peaks and the Epic perk up in Canny Valley. But other than that, pick up the Survivor, I mean, just kind of, yeah, not a whole lot new, except for the Archeolo, <laughs> Archeolo, Ar why am I mispronouncing this terribly, Archeolo, <laughs> Archeolo, Jess, I know, I, 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 I can't believe, yep, yep, just unsubscribe now. <laughs> anyway, though, I believe, yep, Pathfinder, the Archeolo Jess is just a reskinned Pathfinder Jess, which... Ultimately is kind of disappointing. I'm always disappointed when they go and just reskin a hero, but the Pathfinder Jess is a very, very good hero. So, you know, I mean, the Pathfinder Jess is great for farming resources. Not the best at combat, but absolutely great. By far, like the best hero for farming in the zone. It definitely helps that out. And what else do we have? We have Teddy. We have Passing Zone. Yep, yep. Keen Eyes. Yep, yep. Very nice. Anti Material Charge, a must for farming. Loot Find, Work Work, Keener Eyes. Yes, the new Jess is just a reskin of Pathfinder Jess and is the best hero for farming in the game, in my opinion. So, definitely, if you need a Pathfinder Jess or if you just want one that looks a little bit different, definitely pick her up. But otherwise, let's go take a look here in the weekly store. We have some more legendary flux, which is always a nice thing to have. I will definitely actually actually hmm, hmm. We'll see, we'll see. I should look at the rest of the store first. I kinda wanna get her just because she looks unique, but I mean yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see though. Uh fairly typical stuff here. Pure drops of rain. Always, always recommend picking up pure drops of rain. Even if you don't need them now, you will eventually need them for survivors, weapons, whatever it might be, even heroes. Um, speaking of heroes, lightning in a bottle, eye of the storm, definitely stuff you want to have, but don't prioritize it as much as something like pure drops of rain or some other like like legendary flux in my opinion at least. Armory slots, I do need more armory, armory slots, always looking for more of those. And we have the copper doom hammer and the wall dynamo. Hmm. <laughs> Wall Dynamo, one of my favorite traps in the game, not gonna lie. Very effective, very nice to have, does some pretty decent damage. The Copper Doom Hammer, wouldn't recommend to be honest, really would not recommend. He hardware is heavy, a slow swinging hammer with powerful knockback, overhead smash, heavy attack that does increase damage and knockback. Would really not recommend this hammer. Honestly, it's not a bad weapon for being a hardware weapon, but just honestly, hardware weapons, save your save your daily coins if you have them. But honestly, I would not touch this weapon unless you can guarantee that you're going to be able to refresh your daily coins to have 700 of them again once this weekly item store refreshes. But anyway guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. A very short video, hardly anything new, which is really kind of disappointing here. Definitely, like I said before, pick up all of the perk up if you haven't already. Pick up the Mythic if you haven't already. Pick up the new Jess if you need a Pathfinder. If you need a, a good hero for farming, pick her up. Other than that, Legendary Flux, definitely pick up. And then, yeah, pretty much it. Pure Drops of Rain. Pretty typical stuff, guys, this week. But thanks, you guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.